we are here with Maureen Shafir, who will be making her second pro mm -hmm. MMA uh, fight. August 10th at Chaos Casino 5 at Hollywood Park and Casino. First of all, thank you very much for your time. We appreciate it. You're welcome. All right, now this time, uh, it seems like you have a pretty good name opponent this time. I do. Who are you fighting? I'm fighting Amanda Bell. And what do you know about Amanda Bell? I know that she's a brawler and she's big and she thinks she's a grappler and there might be some striking in there. Maybe some striking? Maybe some striking in there. Is, you, is that what you're looking forward to? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was looking forward to the opponent before that and now I'm looking forward to the opponent now. If it wasn't her, I'd be looking forward to the next opponent that they put in front of me. I just feel like it's a, whoever, whoever they put in front of me, it'll be a challenge. And uh, how are you feeling going into this fight? What did you learn from your uh, pro debut? Um, I'm calmer and I'm saving, save, like I'm just kind of tapering off. All, everything is going perfect. I'm peaking perfect. I'm learning to just, my, like, my mind is there, but I don't get ahead of myself during training. I don't just, everything is, everything is just smarter that we do and I just fall into the groove. Every camp I feel more, um, just focused and I'm really sticking to a game plan and I have plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D all the way through Z. So there's nothing that can that's going to happen that's going to surprise me and that's that's like the part of camp that I'm learning is that you know there's answers to every every situation. You're never really stuck. So it sounds like this is more of a mental camp for you yeah. than it is a physical camp. And a physical camp. Of course. Um, my body's changing completely. Um, I was just reviewing some pictures, and uh, I, what, like, you look at, you know, you look at your, you look down, and you look at yourself. You don't, you don't really see that much of a difference. Then you look at a picture at a certain angle, and it's like, what? That's not me. That's not me at all. Are you talking about like your arms? Yeah, like my chest, my back, everything, and my legs. Nothing is the same since last camp. I. I'm way more solid. I mean, I'm training with guys that are bigger than me. I'm training guys that are smaller and faster, and I'm keeping up. And I'm training with chicks that are smaller and faster, and I'm keeping up. Jemima, I love training with her. There's just not, I'm just filling every single hole. Every hole is getting filled. Let's talk a little bit about Jemima uh, Betrion. She's going to be on this card with you. She's making her MMA debut. She has a tremendous combat sports background, kickboxing, Muay Thai boxing. Uh, What's it like to have uh, a 115 around? Because you're the 145 with the other she's 135. Like, she, she's like the little chihuahua that's like, ah, I want to play, ah, I want to play. Like not the, ah, leave me alone. Like she's the aggressive chihuahua. Like I love sparring with her. I absolutely love sparring with her because first two rounds, you're pretty much just keeping up. You're keeping up and you're staying stable and you're doing all these you know, it's gotta be agility and speed and then the next two rounds, that's when you can start laying in a little bit and it's awesome. She's picked up the pace mentally and physically, personally for me and uh, she's helped me grow tremendously, tremendously. It's just, it's nice having another positive energy in the gym, another motivator in the gym like her. You know, she's world-class Muay Thai champion. Legit. She's, it's kind of scary to watch she's legit, she's legit. It's awesome. It's not, it's, it's, you want to, you want to, you train, you want to make her proud and she's your teammate, you know, it's, it's different, you know. I think we were joking before, I was asking if she would, might become the fifth horse woman and <laughs> you had a pretty good reply. Yeah, she's four, she's the 4.5. 4. 4.5. Yeah, <laughs> she's going to be the 0.5. She's the addition to the group, but she's going to be, she's not, you know. A whole one. She's just a little point five. <laughs> uh, have you been able to give her some advice on on what it's like making that MMA debut and pro MMA debut? To trust herself is the biggest thing because she's already a world class athlete and a champion. You know, some people are so some people who cross over, some athletes who cross over from certain sports into MMA. Um, they tend to be a little cocky about what they can do, and for her, I just. It would, the biggest focus was just to trust herself and, you know, be ready for everything. Yeah. And uh, she's up to speed and she's learning really fast. She has a, a natural capability on the ground she doesn't know about. And 
it's nice um, reteaching that to someone because then you kind of learn again. But it's it's she's gonna she, it's gonna be this fight that she's gonna blow everybody away, and then after that it's gonna be downhill. Like no one's gonna want to fight her.